Hello people, in this video let us look at the incidence of uh, cesarean section. Basically it has been steadily rising. They are saying that initially it was like 10%, right? And in the last decade it has increased 2 to 3 fold. So that will be like 30%, isn't it? So one thing they are, good thing they are saying is this rise could be because of uh, improved uh, safety, better anesthesia, better blood transfusion, antibiotics, etc. So some good things they are telling, but there can be some other factors that you should be awa uh, aware of. Look at this. See, uh, let us look at the good things here. See, you will identify a risk fetus, right? You will identify a high risk pregnancy, right? Then what else? There is a decline in vaginal forceps, acum, uh, you know, vacuum delivery, etc. Manipulation. So these, uh, there's a decline in these kind of procedures, right? When you apply these uh, forceps, etc., vacuum, etc., there could be other complications to the fetus. So that is another uh, green we could say, isn't it? So, uh, what do you think? These are the green things. Do you see any other green things here? Let us look at the other uh, reasons here. Look at this one here. Caesarean delivery or maternal request. So, so the mother's request for caesarean delivery. There's a fear of litigation. The obstetri obstetrician fears litigation. There is wider use of fetal monitoring. Right? So, you can increasedly, you can know whether the fetus is in distress. Which is a good thing, actually. This, this should be a green one. What do you say? Then, look at this. There is a small family. So what happens, nobody wants to take the risk of an abnormal labor. That's what they are using the term here. Then women above the age um, of um, a certain age could have medical uh, associated medical complications, which is not true always. And most of them are nulliparous or they are primary gravida, you can say. But uh, nowadays the world is different, guys. People are delivering at a very high uh, age, even normally. So that's nothing to do with cesarean there. Coming to... Vaginal breach delivery. So, breach delivery vaginally they don't want to do at all. There is a decline in the vaginal breach delivery. Okay. So, breach means what? This is normal that the baby is coming out with its head. But some babies are like this. Coming with their buttocks out. So, that's breach. So, breach delivery they don't want to try vaginally. So, there is a decline in vaginal breach delivery. So, there is more cesarean for breach. Okay. Then coming back this side. There is a rising rates of induction of labor and failure of induction. So, earlier it is you wait for the labor to happen and progress etc. But nowadays what the, what is there? There is induction of labor. So, you induce the labor and then there will be failure of induction. Then you take up the lady for cesarean. Okay. Here, look at this one. Primary cesarean delivery would have happened to take no chance of a vaginal birth after cesarean, right? They will do a repeat cesarean. So, this is what these are the causes for the rising caesarean rate. Okay. So, you have looked at uh, some reasons. Can you try to recall guys? So, first of all, you can say that a primary caesarean has been done. So, there will be a lot of repeat caesareans. Okay. Then, let's see the good ones. Let's write the good ones here. Basically, there is a more uh, uh, operative uh, available now, more antibiotics, more anesthesia, good anesthesia, blood transfusion. So, people are ready to take a people for caesarean. But otherwise, there is a initial caesarean that becomes a repeat cesarean, okay? And if the baby is kind of breech, let's make a breech baby here. Okay, here's he, breech. So, they will take him up for, or the baby up, uh, they will take the mother up for cesarean because their vaginal breech deliveries are reducing, okay? Breech, you will write breech. Then what else about the fetus? Fetal distress, if there is fetal distress, if there is a high uh, risk fetus or a high risk pregnancy, okay? Then uh, what else? You, uh, nowadays what they do, they induce labor and then there could be failure of this induction, induction failure, okay. Then nobody wants uh, uh, to go for a vaginal and then probably put a forceps or vacuum, I am just guessing that. Decline in operative vaginal manipulatives, uh, manipulations like forceps or vacuum, etc. So that is another cause. Then what else did you understand? So, uh, they are saying that uh, late uh, elderly age, so that time there could be some co comorbidities in the mother, okay. And then if there is a small family, what will happen if there is a small family? Nobody is ready to take any chance. They don't want an abnormal labor, okay. We will put this as a girl. Nice single girl child, okay. Then, so there is a lot of uh, electronics and computers and fetal monitoring and they are able to identify fetal distress etc. increased increasingly. So there can be more cesarean section.
then coming to other things they are saying that there can be fear of litigation and then maternal request that they have put last year but uh, some doctors are saying that this is the main thing okay cesarean delivery on maternal request okay so these are the causes of increased incidence of cesarean section 